The promises are big. New smart cities, schools, hospitals, roads and power stations. A plan of action not just for five years, but a plan of action for this decade. This is what we are unveiling, unveiling today. Not everyone is convinced. They don't talk to the men in the street in the township where people are hungry now, where people are homeless now, where people are not safe now. I think we don't, we, it's good that we plan for the future, but we must talk about problems that are now. But Gauteng's MEC say Premier David Makura's ambitious vision is within reach. We think currently we, uh, we can attract um, close to or just over um, 250 to 300 billion. Um, but of course, like I said, credibility, if you're able to, um, good governance, because if you're able to spend the 60 billion and you can see what it's doing, where it's going, how it's being spent, um, that on its own is an incentive and attracts private investment. Makura has tiptoed around ETOLs, infuriating the opposition. The Premier may have grand spending plans, but he's been criticised for a lack of detail in addressing immediate challenges. And his decision to kick for touch regarding the future of ETOLs has left opposition parties asking if he will keep his promise to scrap them. Govan Whittles, Kharankua.